Hey guys, today we are happy to have the Vice President and Chief of Staff of the University with us, with us today. Thank you, Mr. Zazali, for being here. My pleasure. Now, I understand volunteering is something that you have close to your heart because you were involved with the Boys and Girls Club of, of America. Yes, I am. Now, as someone who was involved with an organization outside of mm -hmm. Rowan, what does volunteering at the Ronald McDonald House mean to you? Well, it, it's interesting because the Boys and Girls Club, when I was asked to be a part of that, and actually the institution made an effort for us to be, to be a part of that, to me it was a no-brainer because it's such it's a brand name recognition. Ronald McDonald House to me is the same thing. I mean, you don't have to guess what it's all about. What it's about is helping and, and helping those most in need. So the Boys and Girls Club, to me, uh, from the get-go represented that. Just, just an opportunity for, for people who needed something, mostly young people, um, and it provided that outlet for them, that safe haven for them. Ronald McDonald, to me, is, is, is very similar, but in a different way, and, and in some cases, you know, young people with more needs, uh, in some case, uh, life or death needs. So it's, it's uh, uh, it, the both organizations are similar in that event, in, in that way, that they're just, uh, they're just instant, instant recognition in terms of what they do for people. Exactly. But how do you think volunteering and getting hands-on experience helps with the educational development of students? Well, besides what it gives students or people, regardless of whether you're a student or not, the personal gratification, the personal enrichment of being able to, kn to know that you're helping someone who really needs help, uh, from a selfish point of view, and I used to be SGA advisor, and I used to work with students on a direct basis, I would tell them, you need, you need to be involved in things more than what goes on in the classroom. So whether that be student government, whether that be radio, TV, film activities, or volunteering, uh, it's something to put on your resume. It's something to add to your portfolio. And you know something, you also may get something out of it inside. So students need to be able to expand their portfolios to present to a prospective employer uh, something that they've done beyond just attending classes and hopefully getting good grades. Uh, everyone does that. A lot of people do that. Uh, what, what a lot of people don't do is, is volunteer and help others. And to me, as a prospective employer, and I've been involved in interviewing people, hiring people, you look for those things uh, that a person could add to a job beyond simply technical skills or intellectual skills. What is it this person will bring to the job that will be over and beyond simply uh, a skill set. So I think, I think from, a, from a selfish point of view, I tell students, get as much in your resume as you can, and when you do that, you're actually going to be a, a better person too. So. Exactly. At the same time, it's a very selfless thing to volunteer. Absolutely. But, Absolutely. Um, now, aside from the Rowan Television Network, um, some other organizations on campus, such as Greek Life and Athletics mm -hmm. have volunteered at the Ronald McDonald House. Absolutely. Now, what sort of image do you think this gives off to the outside community of Rowan? Well, it, it's the best image, and actually, it's the image. What you hear too much of is, is perhaps student misbehavior or things that are not so positive. To me, that's not the norm. I mean, I live in Glassboro. I live three blocks away from this campus. And I see uh, all the things that students do beyond the things you read about. Uh, so what it does for us, I think, is just, just signify what, what we're all about. I mean, students uh, are people. <laughs> it's a, that's a cliche, but they are. And, and, and unfortunately, uh, the minority of, of students who do perhaps misbehave are the ones that get the attention. The overwhelming majority of students are students who are attending classes, who are doing the work, who are volunteering, who are helping their community. So to me, the image it presents is the, is the right image. And it's the, to me, the more typical image versus the other image. So uh, anytime we can get our name out there and show people what we really are is, is beneficial to, to us. So I completely agree. I think since it's the right image, we should further and continue to continue volunteering as students. Do you plan on can, trying to further volunteer organizations on campus? Absolutely. I mean, um, part, of, part of our thrust, I think, if you look at our four pillars mm -hmm. uh, in, in terms of who we are as an institution, in terms of affordability, accessibility, quality, and, and economic engine, uh, those four pillars mean something. What they mean is engagement and involvement. And we, we want our students, uh, and I, I think our students want this, 
is to be engaged, fully engaged, and not just in terms of attending classes and getting a degree, but becoming part of their community. I think our two medical schools are examples of that. Our two medical schools are, are their focus is on community service. It's focused on giving back to the community. It's, it's creating physicians for New Jersey. So uh, I, see our, I see the whole volunteer role uh, in, increasing and enhancing. So that's something that's going to continue. Now, if you could say something to the viewers to encourage them to donate and stress the importance of donating, what would you say to them today? Just that it, it makes such a difference. Uh, you know, there's nothing like seeing a young child smile, regardless exactly. of what the reason is. And, and whether it be the Boys and Girls Club or Ronald McDonald, the young people who are smiling are the people who need to smile, who maybe don't have a lot to smile about. So if you can give a little bit, Whatever it is, your time, your money, uh, to make a kid smile a little bit, there's nothing better than that, and there's nothing more important than that. Mm -hmm. Now, during your time volunteering with the Boys and Girls Club of America, did you have an instance where you felt like you really made a boy or girl smile? <laughs> it, 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 so many. It, it, it's, and that's another thing. When you're, when you're involved in a situation like that, wh again, whether it be Ronald McDonald or Boys and Girls Club, the, the, the opportunities of helping young people are, are countless. It's hard to even identify a particular time. I remember one instance where we had a, a, a dinner gathering and students had their art, art stuff demonstrated and we bought their art stuff. To see a young person with their artwork being taken from the wall and sold and someone wanting that and to see that kid smile um, is it, just, you, you, it, that never leaves you. But that's just the one small example. There are multiple examples of that. So uh, anyone who volunteers I, I, in, in an organization like that um, will get way more out of it than, than you can imagine. So the examples are, are endless. So. Now I understand you, along with a lot of others, have been working very hard with the expansion of Rowan University into Glassboro right. through the Rowan Boulevard project. Mm -hmm. Do you think this project will help with student community involvement? I think it should. I mean, the, the idea of us being part of the community is, is not a, a, a traditional phenomenon at, at our place. I've been here a long time, and for many years it was kind of like we had a moat around us. We didn't want to engage with the community. Uh, that's a fairly recent uh, change. So um, part of it is not only the economic engine for the community, I think it also will provide opportunities for our students to not only live in the community, but hopefully work in the community. Uh, there's an idea of actually having a business incubator in the center of town for students primarily to help out uh, uh, new vendors who may not have the, the expertise or the acumen to develop their own business. So that's an opportunity for students to, to use their expertise. So that could be not only business majors, could be communication majors, could be public relations majors, marketing majors, so the whole, the whole gamut there. So absolutely, Rome Boulevard to me opens up all kinds of opportunities, not only for an economic aspect of the town, but also for our students. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you for helping to lead such an awesome university who really has students with a passion for volunteering. Well, thank you. It's an honor and a privilege to be here. Thank you for being here. And now we're going to move along and see what we have next for you guys.